short movies are no less than feature film when compared head to head. Important stories can be told in the fleeting duration. It's also like a gateway for any movie makers for their entry into feature film. Our short movies have created history when it comes to selection and winning prizes in the international platform and film festivals. So today, I have brought you a must-see top 10 Nepali short movies. I shall keep all the links of the movies in the description below. So, let's get started. At number 10, we have Poli Dekhi Chori Dinchu. The movie is directed by Bikas Paraili and Nayan Raj Pandey is the main protagonist. It's a story of a boy who recites his interesting childhood stories about his childhood friend Bihari. The movie starts with a rather jolly tone but takes an interesting turn towards the end. Nayan Raj Pandey surely showed a huge potential from this movie. <laughs> So now, at number 9, we have Savitri. Savitri is adapted from a short story typist by Bhavani Bhikshu. Set in 1995, the movie is based on a story of Savitri who works as a typist and is infatuated towards a man. It showcases the thinking, desires and the psychological aspect from the angle of Savitri who is already a married woman. The movie is written and directed by Sujit Bidari. Kiki Adhikari as Shabitri delivers probably one of her finest performances of her career. Tine Palua, Ani Butian Sanga, Timre Nasu Samjira, Hamre Kushi Kalpira. So at number 8, we have Bob. Bob or BOB was directed by Anil Nyopane, was all over the news due to his fiasco related with Hindi movie Kriti. Director Siris Kundar was dragged into the fiasco where Kriti had allegations of plagiarism from this Nepali movie. Setting this apart, Bob is a psychological thriller which deals with the subject of schizophrenia where the protagonist hears the voices inside his head and sets himself in a destructive path. This one is a definitely one to check it out. I need to go doctor. Alright, but you understand me, right? Timi afeli matre tim lai help gordo sakso. Timi jitne parsa. Coming at number 7, we have Chanti. This is a short movie directed by Vimshan Lama and written by Sampada Malla. It deals with the child psychology and set during the backdrop of Maoist insurgency. A little girl, Sani's father returns from the war to celebrate the festival of Dasain with his family and what transpires is a father's wish to make her family happy by sacrificing something dear to Sani. This short movie will indeed touch your heart. At number 6, we have Thirsty. Again, the second short movie to be listed in our list, directed by Anil Nopane, is Thirsty. Thirsty is about two guys who are trekking in the forest, simultaneously having a conversation with each other about their future and current situation of Nepal. The journey turns into something unexpected towards the end and to find out what happens, you have to see the movie. I shall put the link in the description as well. You, first world country, your strategy is here, okay bro? I'm just to this comment, you're like, why do you think it's not Why do you think it's Nepal? Nepal is not Nepal. Do you think it's by choice? Of course, bro. They have a better life out there. So moving on, at number five, we have the movie Babu. Babu is about a young boy who lives with his grandfather. His father goes to India to earn some money for the family. His mother is dead and his young shoulders have to now carry the burden of responsibilities of the family as well as to earn a family living. Babu is a heartfelt tale of a young boy and sheds light on the loneliness, exodus of young people, unemployment in Nepal. It is directed by Ilam Dikshit and stars Divya Dev among the cast, a must watch. So at number four, we have the contagious apprehensions of Dumbari Dendride. 
This short movie is the escapade to the trance state through the eyes of Ten Right Blower, Dumbare. Dumbare is a street kid living in the large strip drainage pipes with his little gang all snuffing the dendrite into the empty plastic packets to suppress the level of hunger. Anupam Sharma who plays Dumbare is amazingly good here. The director duo Bhushan Basnit and Pooja Guru is phenomenal taking us to the right of trance and illusion of dreams. Their choice of portraying the lifestyle of a street kid is worthy enough of appreciation and that too backed up with the amazing cinematography, color correction and the character setting. definitely deserves a watch u dolo u u u dolo so moving on we have basuli at number 3 directed by min bahadur bham basuli is the poignant tale of love and longing this tale is structured through the eyes of a 12 year old girl bijuli set in the backdrop after the peace treaty of Maoist force and the struggle to compete in the national election Basuli presents us with the rudimentary lifestyle of people from western Nepal and a dream of a girl to achieve something for herself a must watch now at number 2 we have Malami Malami is a short movie directed by Subarna Thapa based on the play of Sarubhakta of the same name. This movie flows like a gentle wind encompassing every existing societal practice on your screen without you even noticing it. The movie swiftly touches societal subjects like mass exodus of youngsters to foreign countries for work, patriarchy, misogyny, casteism and aftermath of political and economic unrest. The veteran actors like Anu Baral, Prakash Kimire, Shanti Maske, Bipana Thapa, Tuma Otse Guru have delivered some of their finest performances here. I definitely want to check it out. Yes, I agree. Har ek din ek yu bakhalin cha. Ye sasana nani ka aankh haru baata. So finally at number 1 we have Pooja written and directed by Deepak Ronyar. Pooja is a short movie made in collaboration with BBC World Service Trust. Pooja is a story of a girl named Pooja who goes through several changes in her life from love, elopement and marriage. This short movie is an informational story about the ramifications of being pregnant at young age. The cast of this short movie includes known faces of Mithila Sharma, Prakash Kimire, Daya Hang Rai and Manoj Gajral etc. The dialogue and acting are the most prominent part of this movie and the acting feels so natural that we sometimes forget it's a movie and not a documentary. The equally good direction was with improvised dialogues of the characters have made the movie even better. We could clearly see the future where director Ronyar was headed after directing this short. After Highway and Seto Surya, the director is prepping up for his upcoming movie The Sky is Mine. So This short movie is definitely a one to check out. Ani kina bahir shudhi go? Rati muale ma dukhe no khol dise go. Ha? Ani mua ko bani thaba bhi rati bahir ni sikle ta. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Do like and comment. What are your thoughts about the video in the comment sections below? If you want to follow me on Instagram, the handle is on your screen. It goes by movie underscore geek underscore Nepal. and i shall be back with new videos soon thank you for watching the video